Welcome to Trader's Corner, August 10th, 2021. Crazy summer, June, I was in the middle of selling the house and moving, July, I was moving, and so it's all been insane. But Trader's Corner is here for buy, sell, and trade. Buy, sell, and trade. You wanna buy something? You wanna sell something? You wanna trade something? Do it in the comments section down below, okay? unless you email me before the 10th and then I will read it off on the air and I'll put it in the comment section and I'll put it in the description section. And so I use both of those to duplicate just in case you don't get to the description section, you can see it in the comment section. August knife sale on the 13th at 8 p.m. for the Patreon group and of course I will Post that in the Patreon group so that you'll be aware of that. Uh, if you're listening to this, you'll know. Uh, but on the 13th, which is three days away, it's crazy. Uh, we're going to have at least 100 knives, two big eight-foot tables, cram full of knives, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's There's some cool stuff. When, when you see it, you'll go, wow. Um, but there's some way, way cool stuff there. Uh, and then... For the public, of course, on the 15th at 8 p.m. Also on the 15th, I'll be announcing the winners of my 25K giveaway. There's 18 prizes. Look down below at the previous uh, video that I did. That's 25K giveaway, right? And then put your comment in if you're a subscriber. If you're not subscribed, then put your comment in. Uh, and then you're entered, okay? So we will have 18 winners. 18 prizes and this is one of them you know the steep country by benchmade and a guy from australia said oh my god hook me up um and you know what they are out of stock everywhere you can go to benchmade and order one for full-on you know retail but other than that they gone um for now so i didn't realize that when i put it up as a prize uh, so that will be announced on the 15th. So get your comment in the comment section and enter the 25K giveaway before, at least before 10 a.m. Eastern time on the 15th, okay? Because I'm going to be pulling that pretty early, picking winners and announcing that because later that night, I'll be posting the public August knife sale. So a lot going on on the 15th. Uh, I'll be busy as I'll be as busy as a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest during that whole 13th through the 15th shipping on the 16th, 17th, God only knows. It, it's crazy. I've got a website. I'm going to get it got delayed for a couple of months because of all this craziness, but now that I'm here in Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas, where the rent is a lot cheaper and I'm renting for now. I sold my house, uh, but maybe in a year or so, I will buy another house depending on what's going on with the housing market. But right now, just moved here so I could get a feel for the area and decide if I want to live here or not. I knew I wanted to get back to the Midwest and in an area that's somewhat less expensive than Arizona with all the California people coming in and just paying incredible amounts of money for houses. Uh, okay, so... The sale. I've announced that. Okay. Next, um, I want to do, I'm going to insert in here a little tutorial and it'll just be screen recording. And I'm going to show you on my iPad how do you access the description section and how do you access the comment section. So you can see when I, I have to break the list up right now. Uh, because it's so long between the description section and the comment section. So 50 knives up here, 50 knives down there. But people are going, I, I can't even see the list or I can only see half of it. Well, you got to learn how to access the description section, how to click on that little deal, everything you can scroll down through. And then in the top of the comment section, you see the comment that's pinned at the top of the comment section. It's my comment. And then it says, read more. Click on that. But we'll do that. I'm going to insert that in this probably near the end. But a tutorial in case you don't know how to do that. Okay. 
because people seem bewildered. Some. I ask other guys and they go, no, I can see, you know, what? So it's there. It's just you need to know how to access it. Okay, uh, buy, sell, and trade. I've got a knife that uh, a guy came to me, uh, Matt, and I will post his email address because he has this uh, Marfion custom uh, Dirac, D-I-R-A-C, Delta. Custom Dirac Delta mirror polished ring blue tie hardware. $1,700 was the original cost. And so contact him. Uh, he's in a situation where he needs to uh, cash out of it. And so uh, I don't know how to post these pictures. I guess I could interject them, you know, in this video. But there you go. If you need more information, uh, you know, just contact him because I'll have his email address there. Uh, if you're, you know, th those those knives are not just there all the time to buy whenever. They're usually not available until they are and then they're gone. So that may be something you've been looking for, you're interested in. Contact him. He has the knife. Uh, another thing that I was talking to John Beltowski. He's a Marine. Uh, obviously right, retired. He's not my age yet, but he's getting there. Uh, but he had an idea and uh, I thought, you know, that's not bad because we were talking about knives. You know, like you may have bought some Smith & Wesson knives or some lesser type knives or this or that. And you, you may have a pile of knives. You're going, what was I thinking? Uh, or mm, I'm not really all that like in love with them anymore. And they're very inexpensive knives, like gas station greats of all time or mall ninja, you know, meathead knives, whatever. So he's going to send me like a hundred of them. Okay. And uh, we're going to start this out. And I've got some too. I've got some lovelies, you know. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we're going to have the LTK backwoods hillbilly budget box beat down bidding battle okay so we're gonna i will have a video where i will show you all 100 knives okay let's just say that then we we will have like every week or every two weeks we'll have two boxes of knives 10 knives in each box you won't know which knives are in which box okay so it's blind bidding and it'll be silent bidding so you'll just send me your bid. Box number one, I bid 35 or 45, but whatever, right? So you know you're gonna get 10 knives, but we will have one knife on top of each box. So you know you're gonna get at least that one knife, okay? What else in there, you don't know. It'll be just fun, you know, I mean, it'll be like a minimum of maybe $20 a box with $10 shipping, okay? And then, whatever gets at that or over that wins and we go on. And I didn't want to do 10 boxes all at once. So I want to do like two boxes, maybe wait a week or 10 days, do another two boxes and that kind of, and then maybe other guys want to pile on the bandwagon and do that too. I mean, he's like, whatever I get for him is more than I got him now. I mean, I've had these things for like three, four, five years or more, you know, and you know, they're the, you know, walk of shame knives, you know, so you're going, yeah, not sure why I ever bought them, but we're going to have those. And I think it's fun. I mean, you may get some, you know, used Kershaw or, you know, this or that, whatever, or maybe a Smith and Wesson, you know, they actually still, you can sharpen them, you can use them. They may be 5CR or 3CR, but, and they might be okay for giveaways, you know, uh, my UPS guy told him I was going to give him a knife next time he comes around. So, you know, you can you can hand those out. Of course, that'll destroy my reputation if he shows them a Smith & Wesson knife saying, I got it from LTK, that'll be it. No, I won't do him like that. But it's just one of those things, you know, they're extras. They, they can be, you know, a giveaway or a nice gift or whatever. So, I mean, it'll be fun because you won't know what's in the box. You never know. You might get the Ethan Grau of your dreams in that. Oh, by the way, 
I got batch 41 and 42 back from my tester because he's PMI testing now. What a surprise on some knives that I sent in. And these are freaky. I mean, I'm not testing like Spyderco and Benchmade and that kind of stuff. Okay. That's ridiculous. I don't need to know that that's the real steel. That's going to be a waste, you know. Uh, but, I mean, these are off-brand freaky whatever, including some Ethan ground knives and some others, but, you know, shield and knives and all kinds of stuff. So we'll have those two batches coming. I haven't even done batch 40 yet. So we're going to do batch 40. Then we're going to do uh, batch 41 and 42. So we got three batches of knives coming your way, okay? So you get PMIs. You're not going to get Rockwells, okay? And I can get Rockwells. I can send them to BJ Hill and get that. I just haven't had time to do that yet. So, uh, but we are going to at least do PMI. So you can know, is it D2 steel? Is it M390? Is it whatever? Because that knife's too cheap. There's no way it's M390 or whatever, this kind of thing. So, we're doing that and that'll be coming forward here soon uh patreon drawing every month if you're a ten dollar patreon every month you are in the drawing the monthly drawing this month dear patreons and i'll let them know on a post as well this is your choice you get a warrior mini in limited edition desert tan and an Olite pen in limited edition blue, or, okay, you get those two, or banter, the wee banter. And I'll tell you what, it may be a wee knife, but it's got this great drop, doesn't it? I mean, you guys that have these, um, it's and it's blue, it's blue. And it's in the box, it's brand new, kind of, lightly used i used it to cut the box open on my other knife but that's it um just to cut the tape so lightly very lightly used but uh the wee banter so you get i mean every month there's gonna be a choice between a knife and a flashlight some combination uh that you get to choose from so that's great as well as of course i got new guys who signed up recently and they're sending me knives because i will sell two knives for you every month and not charge you a 10% seller fee. Okay. Now you got to pay, you know, the shipping. I will pass through the cost to ship it to the net, whoever bought it, like if it was $5 and 60 cents or whatever. And then they paid, uh, it was a hundred dollars for the knife and it's 3% credit card charge. So there's three bucks. Okay. So you got to pay that, but you don't pay a 10% fee. And I'll tell you what, try eBay out. I, I double D Daria. I really do double dog Daria. Wow. I did a couple of like $350 or $400 knives for a guy on eBay. I couldn't sell them on my table sale. Oh my God. By the time they took the taxes uh, and their fees and everything, it was embarrassing. I mean, I didn't, I didn't charge the guy anything for doing it either because I was so embarrassed that he got so little back. So... Um, it, it is an outlet for guys who want to sell knives and, you know, they don't want to pay forever in fees. You know, they, they don't want to pay that much. So, I mean, you sell two or four, three or 400. There's my clock. You like that clock? I love that clock. It's the Westminster Chimes. This one has been handed down for at least one generation. Um, so... I, you know, my wife, she's got a great right hook. She really clocked me, clocked me, ticked me off. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, Patreon can be a money maker if you send knives in every month to have sold because what you save on seller fees exceeds what you pay your monthly $10, which I'm trying to figure out why I did that because I'm losing money. Uh, that I could be charging in seller fees, but it's a nice benefit for my $10 guys, and they're in the drawing. $5 guys, they get access, as well as the $10 guys do, to 48-hour lead time on the knife sales. So they get to pick and choose of all the knives, and whatever's left over rolls over to the public sale. So, And sometimes those guy, guys buy 
30, 35, 40 knives, you know? And so they may, they may buy 30 plus percent of the knives before they even go public. Um, so the knife sales have been wildly, uh, you know, popular and successful. So uh, you might want to think if you want to sell some knives, you know, give me a shout and I'll let you know. Every month I kind of wonder where's the new group of knives going to come from. And here they come. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Oh, by the way, just for shits and giggles, I, I, I got a different printer like a year ago, but HP kept sending me cartridges for my old one. If you have a printer that takes these cartridges, it's HP LaserJet. I'm, I know this is silly, but I mean, you know, I hate to waste them. They're brand new. And uh, so if you could use them, it's the black, it's, it's all the colors, you know, that go in. If your printer takes that kind of cartridge, I'll send them to you, just pay me the shipping and it'll probably be about four bucks or so. But you know, they're what? $70, $65? I don't know, they're, they're a bunch of money. Um, so, I mean, I just don't want them to go to waste. Also, you know, yeah, do business with Justin, my buddy. He's great. Uh, he's, you know, what's interesting, he carries the y start knives, the Harns knives, and I've got a couple I'm going to be doing a video on pretty soon and posting. And, and they're, they're great knives and, you know, testing them. Uh, he's also going to pick up the Petrified Fish line before, you know, and now they are on Amazon, okay? But he's going to pick them up and you won't be ordering them through Amazon and waiting two or three weeks, right? You can be able to get them from Justin at White Mountain and use the LTK discount code for 10% off. No tax, free shipping in the USA. You'll have it in three days, maybe four at the latest. I mean, whew, it's quick. So that'll be neat. And I like that Petrified Fish. Uh, brand I, they're, they're crazy i mean they're really cool um i i direct message them through their instagram and you can too um you know they're coming out with some good stuff so uh, i'm excited about him picking that up but he does ch knives he does tucson knives i mean who does that who else is doing that i mean i really and i'm not, i didn't push him into any of this stuff but he's experimental he's willing to pick up these different knife brands and give them a shot, you know? And so, okay, that's cool. I like that because these are odd and unusual brands and many times they're very budget friendly. And then, you know, I'm going to send them off, get them tested. We'll find out, you know, but they're good banger users, you know, and, and some of the designs are really fascinating. And if you want an LTK t-shirt, and you know, I've got just the regular olive color, which is more like uh, this green in here. Um, that's, it's a lighter type fabric, uh, more I think synthetic in it than this one. This is cotton, but I mean, if you don't want the camo thing and it's got the stuff on the sleeves, I have some of these. I have, I think, some just tan ones that are pocket tees with the little logo on them too. So I've got shirts um, in most sizes, even up to like 3X, I may have a 4X even. So, and I think I may still have a small, I'm not sure, but most of them are XL. Um, give me a shout. Uh, I'd love to, uh, you know, sell you a shirt and it's, what are they, 20 bucks? And I pay the shipping and the shipping is usually four or five bucks. So yeah, yeah, net, you're really paying about 15 bucks for the shirt. And you know what? Um, power Cutlery. Okay, I got a hold of him because I saw on Instagram that Ganzo is finally releasing some new knives, a new a new model. And it's like the FH 922 or something. I'll, I'll put that down here because I, I forget now. But I emailed him today and said, hey, you going to get these? And he goes, yeah, I'll check it out and I'll get some. So I'm going to wait till he gets them in stock because... I mean, he's in the U.S. I think he's in California. And so, bingo, bang, I can get him. And I order him off AliExpress. It could take two or three weeks to get him. It may take him two or three weeks to get some too, but then once he's got them, I'll have them quick. And plus, I've got a place to return them if I have an issue, you know. 
can't return that shit to Ollie, then I, I mean, you can't send an knife back to China. They can give you credit or do something with you, but okay. So, no, nah, it, it's nice that I can do business with the USA guy. And stay up with two you knives, by the way. Dave Warren, he sent some knives in for our table sale. Ooh, yeah, some really, you know, MBK, I mean, you know, Monterey Bay knife and this and that. He's got some stuff in there, um, but he's had some Tuya knife sales. He's got some discontinued models, like the Thorax and the Chicane and that. You might check that out, because those things, last I checked, were like 100, I mean, I think, uh, you can you can use LTK as a discount code for 10% off. And I think at that point, they're like $116. And, you know, full titanium, S35EN. I like the thorax. It's blue. It's already anodized, blah, blah, blah. 116 that's pretty good. And you're supporting a guy. I remember what was a couple of years ago. His son went into the Marine Corps. He's a Kentucky guy. I mean, you know, why not? Why not uh, to support uh, a guy here uh, doing that? And this is something that that he's passionate about, and he's he's a great asset to the knife community. So I like Dave a lot. Uh, check two your knives out, and he, they got some slip joint knives now that are really interesting as well. There's a bunch more things that are actually on sale there. So check that out and use the discount code, so you get at least another ten percent off. All right. See this uh, knife sale going on? This is the July knife sale, by the way. But you can see on the screen, uh, right to the right-hand lower area, there was a little triangle thing. You click on that, it opens up this whole description section and lets you see the list of knives. Okay. So that'll, I mean, that was half the list, down to number 45, but there were like 65 knives on this sale. So where's the other knives? And there were some people going, well, I see the first 45, I don't see the second group. Or people who say they can't see the knife list at all. But then you're down into the comment section. See the top of the comment section, see where my pinned comment, pinned by Love Them Knives, then it talks about number 48, Tucson, whatever. And at the end of that line, it says, read more. All you have to do is click on the read more. And it will open up that entire section uh, so that you can see uh, the rest of the list. And there you go. You just click on the read more there's the rest of the list and you can scroll right down to the bottom of the list that's it I mean uh, that's the way to open up the uh, comment at the top of the comment section and also how to open up the description section so now you've got all the knives there between you can just scroll through it now if you don't have a tablet and you're just doing it on your laptop, it's pretty much the same way. So I guess I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I got my idol on today. And of course, it's a Justin Lindquist design. And you know what? I guess it must've got wet in transit because it's now shrunk down. I thought it was a four inch blade, damn. It'd be nice, I like to see this in a four inch blade. Lindquist, get a four inch blade done. Joe, over at Wii, come on, buddy. Um, yeah, but they, they got some interesting knives coming out at Wii Knives, but they're kind of, they've really done the three inch or under type blades a lot of, or maybe 3.2 and under. And I'm like, bring it back, baby, bring it back. I remember what, my 614's got a four inch blade on it. It's a hoss, I love them. I love me a good hoss. But these are gonna be easy carry. But, you know, got the new SOG LTE, the Kiku XR in the orange scales and CTS XHP blade. So I'll have things to say about that too very, very soon. Um, and, you know, just because if here and there I get a free knife to review, 
doesn't mean I'm going to love it. And I've had some people probably ain't never going to send me a knife again because of that. But I just, you know, I call them as I see them. I'm just a guy like you. I mean, you know, I, I'm an enthusiast. I, I like knives. They're fun. But, you know, I've got my particulars of what I like and what I don't. And, you know, I disassemble them. And if they don't disassemble well, I'm not a happy camper. And, and you know, I'll see a lot of things that they just kind of gloss over. They didn't really think about when they when they designed the knife or when they were thinking about hardware and things like that. And it, those are just simple things that you should be able to get in place. And so, yeah, I mean, the Kiku stuff, I like that. Um, and that one, uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll just see. Because um, I haven't done anything with it, particularly. I hate their boxes. They're so damn long. It's like, come on, man. Come on, Joe. Make a box like that. It fits in a, in a little shipping thing that I could ship. Those Kiku ones are like, what am I going to find that fits that? So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Herbie's back there on the wall. Huskers, oh man, they're just, they're probably going to be the national title holders somewhere between now and 2250. Because <laughs> they ain't going to be this year. I don't even think they'll be in the top half of the Big Ten. Ouch. Long fall from grace, but I'm still a big fan. And you guys, stay sharp.